New report by the American newspaper, the New York Times, suggests the United States hacked into the computers of the DPRK. It apparently was done well before the hacking attack on the U.S. movie studio, Sony Pictures. CCTV's Jim Spellman is the latest on all of this. He's in our newsroom. Mike, you may remember back in December that the U.S. very quickly blamed the DPRK, what the U.S. refers to as North Korea, for the hacking attack on Sony as the movie studio prepared to release a satirical movie about the DPR's leader, Kim Jong-un. This is President Obama speaking back on December 19th. Let's, let's talk of the specifics of, of what we now know. Uh, the FBI announced today that, and, and we can confirm, that North Korea engaged in this attack. They caused a lot of damage, and we will respond. Uh, we will respond proportionally, and we'll respond uh, in a place and time uh, and manner that we choose. But at the time, no U.S. officials presented much in the way of evidence that the DPRK was, in fact, behind the attack. Still, some cyber experts doubt that this is the case. Now, an article by the New York Times claims that the U.S. had hacked into DPRK computer systems dating back to 2010, well before the Sony hack. According to the article, which cites U.S. and overseas officials, the U.S. NSA installed what they call beacons that serve as a sort of early warning system alerting the U.S. when DPRK computers are being used to launch a hacking attack. Now, CCTV has not been able to independently confirm what the Times is reporting. The DPRK is known to have advanced cyber capabilities, but their computer networks are not thought to be very up to date. The older a system is, the easier it is to break into, the, the more known vulnerabilities that are probably around. Uh, so I'm not surprised that the, United, that the United States or other very interested intelligence agencies uh, were able to get into uh, North Korean networks. And it's not surprising the U.S. would target the DPRK through their computer systems. The U.S. has long struggled to, to spy on the rather secluded country the old-fashioned way using human intelligence, Mike. So, Jim, uh, if the NSA actually knew about the Sony hack, why didn't they intervene or at least warn the company? I've been speaking with analysts about this today, and there are two main theories. First, if the U.S. warned Sony, it would tip off the DPRK that the NSA was inside their systems, and perhaps they didn't consider that worth the trade-off. Second, the NSA may have been inside DPRK networks, but not have actually seen this hack coming, or they didn't think it was important enough to focus their analysis on. Either way, it shows some of the challenges the U.S. and other governments face when trying to protect these private companies when they get caught up in what appears to be cyber warfare, Mike. Pretty interesting stuff. Jim Spellman, live from our newsroom. Thank you.